Look at what's just landed. It's the new Windows 365 Link device from Microsoft. In today's video, we're gonna have a look at it. We're gonna talk about pricing. Is it worth all the hype? And might it be a fit for your business? Let's get this unboxed. So here we are, the new Windows 365 Link device. A nice, small, compact device launched to much fanfare by Satya Nandela at Microsoft Ignite in Chicago in 2024. You can see it's the perfect size to sit nicely on your desk. In the box also comes the power pack and a power cable. We don't need those at the moment, we'll just move those to one side. On the front of the device is a power button, a USB port and a headphone jack. Around the back of the device is the power connector, an ethernet port and two monitor ports. You can use dual monitors with the Windows 365 link. You'll also find two further USB ports and a USB-C port. To get started, I simply plug in my power cable and also my monitor cable, which is HDMI. You might notice that I don't plug anything into the ethernet port. This is because the Windows 365 Link device is Wi-Fi enabled. I am also using a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse, so I can plug the adapter directly into the front USB port. And I'm now ready to go, so I'll power the device on. The first time I do, it will ask me to connect to a wireless network which I can do. I then accept the license agreement. I will then get asked to enter my Microsoft 365 email address, my password, and then to satisfy multi-factor authentication. The Windows Link device will then enroll into Intune and it will connect directly to my Windows 365 Cloud PC subscription. Okay, so this seems like a pretty cool device, but what exactly is it for and how much does it cost? So the Windows 365 Link device is designed for one thing, connecting to a Windows 365 cloud PC. That's it. You can't use it like a traditional PC. It's purely a gateway to the cloud. So the next question is, What's a Windows 365 Cloud PC? We'll think of it as a full Windows computer that lives in the cloud. You can access it from a laptop, a desktop, a tablet, or even a Windows 365 Link device. It looks and feels like a normal Windows PC, but all the computing happens in Microsoft's data centers. Now you might be watching this video thinking, well, this idea isn't entirely new. Years ago, businesses used thin clients to connect to centralized IT environments. Windows 365 Cloud PCs and Link devices are a modern, more secure version of the same concept. Now, let's talk about money. The Windows 365 Link device costs £350 to buy. Now, this is cheaper than most laptops or desktops, but that is just the hardware. To actually use this thing, you'll need a Windows 365 Cloud PC subscription which are around 30 to 35 pounds per user per month, depending on the spec. So why would a business choose this setup over just buying laptops and using Microsoft 365? Well, here are a few solid reasons. You've got lower upfront costs. You're not buying full PCs for everyone, just a link device and a Windows 365 subscription. You've also got predictable monthly pricing. So this is great for businesses with contractors or seasonal staff. You've got better security. No data is stored locally on the Windows 365 Link device. Everything lives in the cloud. Plus you've got simplified management. Devices are managed through Microsoft Intune, making updates and policies easy to apply. And then of course, scalability. You need more power? Well, just upgrade the cloud PC. You need fewer users? Scale down instantly. So if your business values flexibility, security, and easy IT management, Windows 365 
on Windows 365 link devices might just be the answer. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. I look forward to seeing you again very soon.